this World Asthma Day, let me tell you some facts about bronchial asthma. Hello friends, I am Dr. Vivek Nangya, Chief of Pulmonology for Cluster 1 Max Healthcare and I am also the Principal Director and Head for uh, Institute of Respiratory, Critical Care and Sleep Disorders at the Max Hospital Saket Complex. Bronchial asthma is a common disorder. The numbers are rising every year. It's a heterogeneous disorder which is associated with a chronic airflow limitation. That means there is narrowing in the airways which is causing the people difficult to breathe. The most common triggers for bronchial asthma are exposure to smoke. This may be in the form of cigarette smoke, environmental air pollution, indoor air pollution or any exposure to construction sites. Pet danders, the animal danders, the bed bugs in the house, house dust mites, dampness in the walls, uh, indoor air pollution and pollens. In addition to that, asthma could also get triggered off by seasonal changes in temperature, exposure to cold air, cold substances, exercising. There's something called exercise-induced asthma also. Very strong emotions can also precipitate or trigger off an asthmatic episode. The management of asthma is very, very simple. The management of asthma is based on two types of uh, therapies, the controller therapy and the reliever therapy. Controller therapy is also called the maintenance therapy, which should be taken on a long-term basis. Whereas the, the reliever therapy is more of an SOS-based therapy or whenever the patient has an acute worsening of his symptoms, that is when you use it. But please let me emphasize here that the mainstay of therapy is in the form of inhalers, that is inhaled form. If despite regular maintenance therapy, somebody is not improving, then we have newer therapies which have completely revolutionized, revolutionized their care and these are called the biologics. So friends, in this era, when you have asthma, which can be easily managed, I think you should consult your uh, physician as early as possible in the onset of the disease. I hope you found this video informative and if you have any questions, please put them in the comment box and we'll be happy to reply to them. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.